Uh, hello everyone. In this video tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create a response spectrum curve from an existing time history record. So mostly we have uh, some database which is uh, created uh, time history. Even we can uh, get the response spectrum there. But for some analysis, especially for correction and also uh, some factoring, scaling, we use uh, Sysmo signal software and then we want to interpret this uh, time history and changing to response spectrum curve. And using that response spectrum curve for uh, response spectrum analysis. So response spectrum analysis will be quite faster than time history analysis. Even we will design the structure based on this response spectrum. So we go to the Sysmo signal, it's a very simple software. And uh, we can uh, exactly go uh, through to uh, here called uh, Download Strong Earthquake Motion. In my case, I go here is different uh, earthquake ground motion. For each of these database, you should create a <coughs> uh, account. Uh, we will discuss in next tutorial how we can download uh, from one or two of them uh, the specific time record or earthquakes event. So now uh, we have already some uh, uh, files here. I'm going to call here uh, in the file to open and from open here is some uh, existing uh, some existing uh, earthquake records such as TT, uh, Fruilli, and all Easter and all Imperial Valley. So I'm going to take Imperial Valley. Uh, here uh, asked me to uh, uh, define the, uh, these parameters. So the first line is third, started from uh, line six. I'm going to here is the last one. In case uh, if you come here is 395, which is exactly the same. Uh, if it's not detected, you can uh, go to get, go to here and give the last line. The time step is 0.1 second between this and the scale factor here is the important thing you can scale this uh, 1.5 or 1.2 and then create a response uh, curve and now here is the second part uh, which is uh, you usually will get uh, like pure NGA format or shaking format MMS. but in this format is just uh, called uh, time plus acceleration value per line. So here is the acceleration in column two and time is column one. Now we're gonna okay. Now uh, we can uh, see the acceleration graph and also the velocity and uh, displacement. So here is some uh, some things in a, uh, for correction. Uh, we can use some filtering and also some uh, uh, baseline correction. Uh, that the, the, the uh, to remove some noise or something but uh, this is not our part just we want to create the response spectrum here's go Fourier and power spectra and we can see uh, from the giving acceleration we created a Fourier amplitude via a frequency and also a power amplitude in some sort of analysis we need also to such as the uh, spectrum analysis we need to use this Fourier amplitude as well and we go to the elastic elastic and inelastic response now here is the main part we can assume that x is the displacement and y is response uh, acceleration now in case if I want to consider the damping I can create one, two, or three. Uh, list the first one I want to zero, the second one is I want to five, and the last one is I want to use ten. So, based on this dumping, uh, you can create a uh, response spectrum. So, this is the giving response spectrum based on the zero person dumping, this one, and the second one, this one is five person dumping, and this is ten person. So then you can uh, take this, take this data and design your structure. As well as you can change instead of period, you can use frequency. Now, 
uh, we also can uh, change the same to different yeah. uh, in case if you want to uh, go to here and you can change more uh, data as you wish such as the uh, integration parameters beta alpha beta uh, beta gamma and also the maximum time uh, time uh, steps uh, and also from main to max period you can consider the max per period be uh, at least six uh, seconds and you can see that if I go again to create and this time is six seconds but uh, the maximum in the response is four second the same for here <coughs> so after that you can uh, save this uh, as a plot uh, copy the chart and you can copy this and uh, conduct your uh, analysis and so you will research uh, as well as you can get this data uh, for your uh, research so this is the end of the tutorial if you have any question please put in the comment and i will find time to answer you see you next time